Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, please do smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Um, it's going to be a reading for you, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. We're taking a look at September's messages. And um, yeah, we're going to take a look at who's watching you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so if you want to get a personal reading, Virgo, there's a link in the description box below this video. And there's also um, a link under the profile picture here on my channel. Just click that and that'll take you everywhere. I do have a September special going. So go over and get that discount. All right, Virgo, let's get into your reading. Hold on, let me just... So you have the runner. Runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, someone listening to their ego, running away. <sighs> let's see. Mask. Not showing true feelings, hiding, personify, pretending, deluding, gaslighting. Okay. So, let's see. That's interesting. Looks like um, we'll see more of who this person is, but it's definitely someone who... Okay. <laughs> Great. Another one of these people, Virgo. What in the... What in the heck? So, keys on a ring, many options, decision, unconventional, string along one night stand. Okay. So, Virgo, <laughs> you're doing great, man. <laughs> I mean, you've got somebody here who, this person, and I would just be like, yeah, keep it moving, pal. You've got someone here who's a runner. They are, they don't commit. They're, they got a lot of options. They do the string along, one night stand, they wear a false mask. Okay. So, why are they watching you, though? Like, what is the deal? Okay. We got judgment in the reverse. You make this person feel, um, you make them doubt themselves. You ignore their, you're, you, I see this, okay, so they might be calling you um, or reaching out to you, but I, you, you, you're ignoring them. You'll be ignoring the call. Or you're ignoring them, or you're not paying them any mind. Okay, let me see. Yeah, okay, breadcrumbing. So, I mean, Virgo <laughs> makes perfect sense. Um, we do have Taurus here. We also have uh, Scorpio. Okay. Because, okay, yeah, this person is definitely watching you. And they're watching you because, why? What are you doing? Okay, this person is spying on you. Um, they're playing some games. I feel like they're playing some games. You, Virgo, um, kind of know that this is not the kind of person you want to get yourself involved with. You are, look, you've got the Four of Cups here. So any kind of offer that gets made by this person, you're just like, nah. You have looking at your other options. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. I have to be careful with these cards. I just realized these are the nakies on this on this deck. Wheel of Fortune in the re reverse. This is kind of like a bad luck kind of situation. So it looks like Virgos, you're just ignoring this person because you're not interested. Maybe you, you might already know of them. Maybe they have a reputation for going in and out, or you find out about this. It could be somebody that you're currently dating or that you're connected with, and. This person's resistant to change. They're just in and out. That kind of energy. They wear a mask. And you seem to be, like, not interested, you know. Um, it's not in your favor to get involved with a person like this. I'm not telling you that. I feel like that's what you, your energy is. And I feel like whoever this person is will be coming in with many Ace of Cups. Many new starts new starts always new starts but i don't know virgo something i feel like you need to know about this person they're spying they're stalking they're very curious about you um gossipy asking people about you looking you up and if you already know them or you already connected with this person you're not interested and they are i feel like I don't want to say, like, I don't feel like this person is, like, butthurt about it, but 
they are intrigued by why you don't care <laughs> by why you're just not interested in this person okay all right so we've got the moon all right too much i feel like virgo you're gonna see this person is way too shady they're kind of a dreamer illusionist you have pisces energy um are your prem you get you'll get premonitions or things start coming to you your intuition tells you to um not open yourself up or to not get involved with this person okay so reading's done i'll see you tomorrow <laughs> just kidding so let me see what the energy what other energy is with this person because it looks to me like this person wears a mask yes they don't show their true feelings and that's kind of what i feel like the energy is i don't feel like this person is like the big n word you know but i do feel like they they just they just don't open up they just don't share who they are they kind of wear this mask and then they identify as their mask you know it's just a little bit of pretending going on with this person like a false identity um as soon as the mask comes off they run they, they just kind of have this energy let me see oh my goodness and it just looks to me virgo like you are just not interested in this because they just are super super cold and it kind of feels like you know maybe you've tried if you've been with this person or you made yourself available um you've like you've um, you might have offered your cup had a few false starts um and then this person just seems very disconnected so they could be like on the spectrum i'll say that they could be on a spectrum where they just don't understand feelings the best that they can really arrive at is a physical relationship you know not that it's not that they don't understand feelings, but that there's just um, a little bit of a difficulty kind of like intuiting um, what you want or what you need emotionally from an emotional standpoint. And um, if I just heard the name Cassandra, if you um, or someone who is like trying to understand what the issue is with this person i feel like that's really what that is like the emotions kind of scare them they because they don't really know they don't really know how to uh, i don't want to say empathize they just don't know what to do with it or your feelings or your emotions okay it's not a bad thing it's just this there might be some masking or behavioral change uh, or this person has this mask in order to um, kind of just get along with people or be connected or, or be in social type of situations or dating um, but then I kind of feel like when the relationship like keeping that mask on, I guess is draining, extremely draining. So this person kind of runs away so they can like recharge. Um, so I feel like this person is emotionally drained, but they're, but like still, I feel like they're very interested in you. They just don't know what to do. You might, some of you might already know, like kind of get a hint of this or have gotten a hint of this with this person. Hmm. This is an interesting reading. That's a message. Okay. And this is not going to be for everybody. Let's just keep it there. Um, but you know what? Um, string along a one night stand. Um, I don't feel like a person that, you know, has autism is like a player generally. But, you know, I don't know because I'm not like I don't have education really on that. But I feel like with this person that you connect with, there may be some kind of a hookup or um, connecting and it's something that feels really amazing in the beginning. And then this person runs away because of the closeness. Okay. 
because of the closeness, right? Whew. Craziness. All right, let me see. Okay. So the devil is here. So this person, a little obsessive. Wow. Just when I said that, there's a page of swords again. This person is very obsessed with you and um, they watch you. I feel like this person mimics you or mirrors you as far as like, I don't know, you've had some kind of impact or you, you will have some kind of impact on this person. And they're very like crazy physically attracted to you, okay? Um, they definitely hold you on some kind of a pedestal here. So they're in and out. Yeah, I, listen, I just want to give a caveat here. You know, whatever is going on with another person, you know, if this person has, you know, if they're on the spectrum, you know, it doesn't mean that you should then feel crazy sorry for the person and then deal with whatever they deliver you know if they don't know that they're on that they're on it then that might be a conversation that you might want to have with this person depending on the connection you know if you're if you're good like that um but no matter what is going on with this person i do feel like you know they could have a little bit of the end stuff going on as well where they're whatever whatever they're born with or whatever the issue is the social behavioral issues could turn into selfishness and that kind of stuff you know it but it doesn't matter because you gotta you have to look after yourself Virgo okay you have to make yourself happy right um at the end of the day I just feel like spirit wanted me to share this part with you um because I, I don't feel like a strong sense of someone who is malignant but I I do feel there is a level of you know kind of selfishness but it's in a sense to protect themselves because I don't feel like this person really knows they know work they're good with work and tasks and you know doing their every day day after day very routine this person is very routine wrote and they're perfectly fine like they're focused they're very focused on this is more than just work in context this is someone who is i'm feeling like um they're just giving me an image of like a factory and how a factory just puts out mass product one after the other after the other after the other like i feel like that's the energy of this person but 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 <laughs> You know, there is an obsession, but I will tell you, Virgo, I'm not picking up much in the way here of emotion, love. Um, not that they don't feel it, but it's not showing up here, at least not yet. I feel like this person, um, they're very focused on the, th the things that they build. They might have like obsessive hobbies or be obsessed with work. Um, or obsessed with like little things and you know yeah is it this this read I don't even know so I mean some of you might be like oh okay that I understand that this person is a runner they so the word they're giving me is neurodivergence someone might be neurodivergent and someone or neurodiverse is that right am I saying that right and another person might be neurotypical. Okay. So there's a little bit of um, differences here. Okay. Let's see what else about this person. Okay. So there's your first court card. So the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right. Let's see. So it looks like this person is definitely trying to change make some kind of transition come out of some kind of um com come out of a comfort zone kind of thing at this time and going into september um facing some fears you know the six of swords is always that like necessary transition this person knows you know if they they have to make some kind of change or transition into something what are they going to transition into here virgo All right, 
so there's definitely going to be a message coming to you from this person some kind of reach out um let's see tell me more tell virgo more about this change there might be something about um setting up some plans with you connecting yeah it's definitely setting up plans uh we have virgo taurus capricorn here there's a relationship between a water sign and an earth sign <clears throat> okay let's see oh yeah it's all about travel i mean i feel like this person really is going to come towards you and make a lifestyle change they're making a change they're trying I, they may not be aware <clears throat> fully um if they have a like if they're neurodiverse or something going on like that they may just be blaming themselves or calling telling themselves that they're just so selfish and obviously the way we saw things here with you that you are showing up here like not interested or just not trying to um make the connection um you might have been rejected a lot of times so it looks like there will be some kind of a change i feel like this person is going to want to for some of you it's get into a committed relationship for others of you it's meet the family and the friends uh, for others it's talk about moving in together um, or visiting um, another or visiting someone's home as well and why why does this person want to come towards Virgo like obviously I see this person is definitely trying to have a lifestyle change here but let me see what does Virgo need to do with this because I want to know like why they're making this like they do feel like they're they've been selfish I will say that they may not understand that um it's more than that it's not that they're intentionally selfish it's just that they um seem to just be centered more than other centered and that might have more to do with you know the issues and the things like that that they have but they may not realize that there's something else going on there okay so let me see what else can you tell virgo okay the world yeah look this person um they have a tendency to retreat from the world they do they seem to do that that's that running part i don't feel like this person really does it with just you i don't think it's something personal with you i don't feel like it's you know they're not telling me this person doesn't love you but they're also not showing me these feelings that this person has for you which is indicative that this person keeps a mask on it doesn't reveal their feelings they, they just they may not even understand them or or think that they're all that important the emotions so this person has a tendency to like put up walls and boundaries and be very persistent to run away from other people um, or to go into their hiding place to try to like get some healing or just back off and recharge. I feel like it's overwhelming for this person when they are in with a lot of people for a certain set period of time and then they just kind of disappear they may say to you that they're busy or they're working but they're really not they're they're trying to just um you know virgo you understand that like being around people all the time you know some of you it's draining and a lot of times even virgos have a tendency to pull back and go into isolation to reflect and recharge so i feel like this is a lot to do with what this person you know they yeah look they block, uh, they sit right down and they nail their feet to the ground <laughs> and they don't move and they block and they don't let anybody in. So this is a thing, Virgo. This is, this is definitely a thing. You know, the mask, the runner, the string along is not always indicative of someone who is intentionally trying to hurt someone. And I'm not picking that up. I feel like this person has what is the word like um just maybe some social struggles 
and um what can virgo do about this like for some of you you know it looks like you already decided that you are not going to engage with with this person and you know that's fine and for those of you that want to engage with this person hmm. so for those of you that want that like have this empathy and understanding about this um, I feel like a lot of people have told you things about this person and they were very judgmental um, and very like legalistic, maybe even giving you this whole, you know, rules are rules, that kind of thing. If this person doesn't open up and share, like set, set these very clear rules or told you, cut this person off, they're no good. Well, that's harsh. I don't know. They might not be good for you, Virgo, um, but that doesn't make them no good. So I feel like you need to come to this place with yourself. If this is a relationship that you intend to go forward with, you need to come to this place within yourself is how can there be a win-win solution here for both of us because if you're going to stay or try to go forward or move something forward with this person who obviously is stuck on you and is obviously um coming back around here um you're gonna have to make a decision right like if you're gonna stay and work on it let them back in then you got to be really willing to work on it from your end and that requires having that conversation and talking with the person and finding out like what what's what's up you know um and there's a lot of adapting that has to be done and less expectation now if you're gonna stay and move forward with this person and you're not gonna do any of that you might as well just keep it moving you know because there's a there's going to be like this requirement for you to really learn and understand as much as you can. This is all based on if you wind up falling in love with this person or if you love this person just in general, okay? Absolutely. Like if you're going to give your heart, there has to be like so much communication and understanding with this person and learning about them. And learning about, you know, if this person does have, is on the spectrum, learning about that. Um, now, for some of you, you could be on the spectrum. And this person could be neurotypical. Or this person could not be on the spectrum. There's, there's, I'm going to tell you this. There's definitely something off that it's difficult to put the finger on. Because I do feel that there is, even with the Knight of Cups here, there is an element of um, love, however that is defined. Because I don't believe that um, people who, have, who are on the spectrum are unable to love. I don't think that. I think... The way they express it is maybe a little different, but I don't I don't believe for a second that they're unable to love, you know? And um, I think they want love as much as anybody else. Um, but there are some that, you know, they, they get uncomfortable and there are some that are real good snugglers, but then they forget your birthday. So <laughs> it's, you know, there's a lot of different things going on. Now, if you're on, if you're on the spectrum or suspect that you are, um, there may be an, uh, something that you need to talk with this person if they're reaching out to you and letting them know. So there, it's just an overall message of trying to understand each other. Like if you're done with it and you don't want to even try and you just want to move on, then you just might as well click off the reading because that's really what this is about. And also, this may not be, like I always say, it could be um, a romantic partner. This could be a friend or a family member. Um the overall message here is about understanding. Seek to understand rather than be understood. Okay. Try to figure out what's going on here. All right. So we've got the Eight of Cups. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. 
So there's a little bit of, I feel like for you, kind. some of you might be a little bit on the fence if there's a reach out from this person. There is an energy of um, taking a little time out here to try to weigh things up, shore things up, understand if, if this is like an emotional roller coaster, how to kind of balance and level things out here. So, um, there are two choices on the table, whether to stay or go. You know, love, love is going to be the ter determining factor for you. If you just do not love the person, then you'll leave. But if you really do love the person, then you'll find a way, at least you'll take some time here to figure out what is the best course of action for you. Oh, sorry, you guys. Because I don't see this person wanting to let go of the relationship. Let me see if I can try and get some, all right, feelings. There's the moon. There you go. So they're in there. There are feelings here that this person has for you. And they definitely are keeping their eye on you, okay? Um, but their feelings are very hidden. Hmm. Very hidden. But they're there. That's why I'm not getting a lot of cup energy. Let's see if you can tell. Virgo, a little more clarification on this person's feelings. Okay. Wow. The Empress and the Magician. So, I mean, I feel like this person really thinks the world of you. They don't feel the world of you. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with the emotions. I really don't. I, I can honestly tell you. Feelings generally aren't a problem to show up here in the reading. Um, but the feelings that I'm getting, you know, this isn't like their current feelings about you, thank God, because this would be a mess. Because <laughs> it'd be like, well, uh, they're, 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 they don't show their feelings. They hide their feelings. They're true feelings. <laughs> Does that mean that they don't have feelings? No, I'm just seeing the numbers 410. Could be April 10th, or maybe somebody's area code or apartment number. But I mean, I do, I, I feel that this person thinks the world of you. They think you're, you're quite magical. You're a little difficult to understand. They don't really understand how you work. Um... They think you're a bit of a mystery, but they also think that you are very attractive and very nurturing and very caring and that you have some kind of an ability here, like you've got the Midas touch. You, you do very well in many areas of your life. Yeah, look, all this major arcana, so here's a high priestess. I was listening to... Um, third eye blind was it third eye blind and i heard the lyric you're a high priestess in that dress is it third eye blind i can't remember i think it was i want something else to gonna do do right uh -huh, uh -huh. i can't remember who sang it i heard it today and i was just like what is going on so there's high priestess I don't know why. I've heard that song a million times, and it's from like the early 2000s and, or the 90s. And I've heard that song a million times, and this is the first time I heard the High Priestess in that, that lyric in that song. Um, so yeah, there's the High Priestess. I mean, this, this person is pretty enamored by you. That's why they're watching you. That's why they're keeping their eye on you, and, and they, they're mimicking you. In a lot of ways. All right, I am going to ask Spirit to dive deep and tell Virgo if we can get any feeling going on, this person's like even something from the hidden feelings. Okay, so there's definitely feeling you even though we are apart. Okay, so if you don't know this person, Virgo, you might connect with them in September, date them for a little while or can connect as a friend as well. And then you might come to this whole situation and just be like, I don't know, something's off and I can't quite put my finger on it. Um, 
because they might be very kind and very um, supportive, just like the King of Cups there. Very kind, very supportive. Um, have that empathy for sure. And be very tolerant. Or they could be someone um, who is uh, very solid and practical and someone who um, is likes to do things um, to help help you with things, help you with budget your bills or pay your bills or um, cook you a meal, you know, or someone who is always available um, for the task type stuff, but the emotional stuff, not so much. But they definitely, they don't, so you might come across that as somebody new for sure in September and just kind of be like, oh, you know, well, now you know, but if you forget this reading, um, you might be like, I don't think this is going to work. Okay. And I feel like if that's the case, this person will be very distraught about that and will definitely feel your absence. And if this is someone that you are currently involved with, um, they will def they're definitely feeling your absence if you're oh my god i couldn't let you get close to me see that's that's really the gist of it yeah okay so i'll see you tomorrow no just kidding that's really the gist of it i just feel like it's a tough call virgo and it's ultimately your decision it's a tough call <clears throat> hmm. well they want your forgiveness that's sad. This makes me feel very sad. I feel sad for this person if they are on the spectrum and they're just trying to have love like everybody else. I kind of feel sad that they feel like they need to be forgiven for having that, I guess, disability. I think, you know, I, I think people who are on the spectrum are really just like neurotypical people are just a beautiful rainbow and people on the spectrum are just more intense brighter rainbow colors you know their rainbow is much more intense and it's just as beautiful their 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 greens are bright green and and their blues are deep blues you know and and their pinks are luminescent people on the spectrum you know so I'm going to cry. No, I'm not going to cry. Um, I hid who I really am from you. I feel like Virgo, this is a really intense reading. I hid who I really am from you. Yeah. And who they really are is um, someone that they don't know that people really will accept. Or really try to understand them. Or really take the time to understand them and... And accept them for who they are, you know? And listen, Virgo, please, I'm not trying to do the guilt thing here. I hope you don't feel that way, okay? Because the ultimate goal with everybody in life, I believe, is to have understanding and acceptance, right? Doesn't mean you have to be in a relationship with those people. It depends. It's up to you. Every situation and every story is unique. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is what I'm saying. If this gives you any consolation or hope that this is the person that you love and, and you really want to try to make things work, they are trying to become a better person. Not that they're a terrible person. They don't really need to become a better person, but maybe I feel like this person might be trying to find, well, there was a lifestyle change here and doing stuff different. So they might be trying are trying to understand themselves better in relation to not just you, but others socially and try to find ways to um, be less selfish and maybe just try to adapt. I'm hearing the word adaptation. Okay, so, you know, Spirit's really talking through me right now because usually when I get some very serious spiritual downloads, and my angels and guides are, are giving me messages. I often forget what I said, which means I wasn't meant to hold on to it. It was for, it was, I'm just like a conduit to send this message. Okay, messages of love. 
Let's see. Wow. Holy shit. This person is having an awakening. <gasps> Twin flame awakening. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Virgo. This is your twin flame. And what was the struggle? Possibly being on the spectrum. Not the spectrum of narcissism. Although there could be an element there. <laughs> of course, it can happen. I don't know which comes first, but like I said, I'm not a doctor. And these are just things that I've heard. You do your own research. Don't believe me. But I do feel like um, this is your divine counterpart here. Spirit wants you to know that. And there is an, a, a spiritual transformation. If you've been praying, God is working in this person's life to give them that awakening, to give them the rev revelation, the things that they need to become aware of about themselves. And it's probably happening to you too, Virgo. Things that you um, are really getting in touch with your empath em em empathetic side and really coming to this place of understanding and even a place of forgiveness if need be. To, for some of you, there may not have been an understanding of what was happening. And maybe some of you might have thought this person was just a really terrible, awful person. And they really destroyed you. But if they have a disability, maybe that will take a load off a little bit for some of you. Or you can say, you know what? Hmm. Maybe they just didn't know what they were doing. And it had nothing to do with me. And maybe I can just look at them and just be like, you know what? I'm sorry that you had to struggle with that. And I'm sorry that, you know, I struggled too. And, and you know, I can forgive you. And, and I hope that you, you know, have that awakening and, and, and you're able to get your needs met with someone who's maybe more suited for you. For some of you, this is an awakening of letting go and getting to a place of like forgiveness. You know, people always say, well, how do I let go of someone? We have to forgive them. Because if you don't, then you're holding on to resentment. If you're, if you're holding on to someone that um, treated you badly and that relationship is over, you have to forgive them in order to move on. If you're holding on to someone that's not in your life, whether they treated badly or not, you still have to forgive them for no longer being there so that you can free yourself. Even if you don't want to move on to somebody else, at least free yourself. So there's some topics going on here this week I must say I must say all right I just want to get um, a romance angel but this is a twin flame awakening okay so separation here in the reverse that I can't pick up okay so coming back together time apart from your partner is on the horizon for some of you it will be for some of you, it already is. And then there's a return. The opposite of separation is, give me a word. Whatever word you come up with. The, op the op opposite of separation. Okay. Making the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided, guided to take true love this is the romance of a lifetime so for some of you this is your true love twin flame okay for others of you this is just a soulmate which would be a friendship where there's a lack of understanding in the friendship and there needs to be forgiveness and healing to either free yourself up or to free both of you up to resume the relationship in a a, a more positive way okay so I do feel like, as I was saying, yes, they're still watching you. No, they haven't let go. They will try to come back around, reach out to you. Um, in there, and it, I see them being very excited to talk to you. I will tell you that. As and and part of their excitement is they're having this awakening, and they just can't wait to tell you what they've learned about themselves. It's not going to be them reaching out to you for no reason and you having to sit and have the conversation about, you know, a house of Virgo revealed. This is more, I feel like this person is going to come to terms with their own stuff and struggles and open up and, and try to tell you what was going on. And the, I feel like there's an element of um, playful happiness and joy and enthusiasm because there's a... 
there's a level of release about this understanding about the self, that they're not this horrible, bad person, that they're not someone who didn't want to be in a relationship, that they're not someone who doesn't want to love someone or be loved. It's that they've struggled their whole life and they never really understood what was wrong with them or why they felt different or why they needed to run away and not talk to anybody and go in their hermit cave and hide um, and why people couldn't understand that and people would leave them or abandon them because they needed that time for themselves and you know I just want to cry <laughs> I just want to cry Virgo because I really feel like it like if this is a friendship or someone that you're related to or even a love relationship and and this is like resonating and this is something that's going on I just hope that there's like oodles and ramen noodles of healing that's what I hope that there is ramen noodles of healing and of course I have to add some food because everyone, if, you, if you're not in the chat and you're just listening to this, you should join the chat because there's, if you, there sure is a lot of talk about food in my chat. I, don't, I have been on YouTube working <laughs> on YouTube for since 2016. And um, I have been in thousands of chats. And nowhere have I ever been in a chat where all they talk about is pizza, sushi, and all kinds of other I don't even know burritos tacos it's it's just I watch I watch it I check out the chat and I'm just like man then I gotta go get a snack I can't even with these people so you've got the star and that's what I'm talking about the healing and by the way all of my chat people I love you guys thank you so much for your support so that was me contributing to the ramen noodles the star hope when you wish upon a star makes no difference who you are and by the way if anyone is in florida in at least in the path of the hurricane um my prayers are with you i hope that you will all maintain and be safe as much as possible um that looks like a pretty heavy duty storm for you guys and uh, i know there are some of you who are north and south of the storm um still take precaution because i i think i was i'm not predicting i saw in the news there was a lot of flooding and tornadoes and stuff happening so all of florida and everyone in georgia south and north carolina and even louisiana and all everyone tallahassee especially all those areas i wish you all to be safe so hope faith and wishes are being restored and I feel like Virgo, make a wish right now. If it's your birthday, especially last yesterday or today or tomorrow. And as a matter of fact, I'm not sure if it's your birthday, anyone that I know right now, and I can't check, but um, I'll wish you a happy birthday in the chat. But if you're in the chat, let me know it's your birthday. Give a shout out because the mods are wishing everybody a happy birthday in the chat. So it's great. Um, make a wish. Blow out your candle, Virgo. And if your birthday is already passed, go get yourself a cupcake, put a candle in it, light it, and make a wish on this reading. Because I feel like um, there's a wish coming true here for you, for healing. I love it. I love it. All right, let's get into, I'm going to see your Chinese signs to see. Maybe we can narrow down who you and your per like you are your Chinese sign and your person see if we can find you both or just one all right so we've got ear of the goat I'm sorry the ox <laughs> I looked at it and I saw a goat but it's an ox okay well maybe a goat is involved as well ear of the rat ear of the dog ear of the dragon double dragon year of the horse year of the rabbit and year of the goat there you go so the goat showed up anyway all right we'll get a couple of numbers and see what else is coming up here for you virgo oh well they gave me a whole bunch of stuff okay somebody's name uh, we have the initial z so person place or thing we also have the letter v v as in victor as in vanessa um someone's born 1990 someone is 29 someone is 36 
They're also giving you an Aries here. Okay, another thing. It's weird because I was just looking for a pair of these yesterday. Let me give you the white card. Um, so we have a pliers, okay? Um, so someone might be working with a pliers or you're looking for a pair of pliers. If you find them, please send them my way because I need a pair of pliers. Or someone works with tools or in con some kind of construction or like a fixer up, a fix it person. Someone's a fix it person, okay? Or you're just using a pair of pliers right now. Could be that. Um, so we also have a butterfly. Hey, you guys, I have to ask you, especially like leave a comment or in the chat. I've been getting visited and I should know this because this is what I do, but I couldn't find anything on it. So if anybody knows, I've been getting visited for the past three days by Hummingbird. And I'm not just talking about showing up on my deck. He is flying and he's coming about three feet from my face. And he just sits there and hovers like he's staring at me. And he keeps doing this. What does it mean? <laughs> so you have a butterfly. Okay, so this is definitely metamorphosis, transition, and change happening in September. Okay. I'm like a bird, only fly away. I don't know where my soul is. Is that the song? Um, and we also have a Dalmatian. Oh my goodness. Have we had a Dalmatian on my channel yet? I don't think so. So maybe somebody has a Dalmatian or an attachment to Dalmatians. There's a Dalmatian is significant and also this butterfly is significant. You might have a connection with butterflies or maybe you bought something that has butterflies on it or there's maybe like butterfly tattoos, that kind of thing. I just want to get a couple more of these actually. All right. Sagittarius is here. Oh, well, that was quick, you guys. I just got the letters J, E, and I thought that was an N. So I'm going to say Jen or Jennifer. We also have um, the initials K. So E, initial E. We have an L, initial L, and an H. Okay. And this is the number two. So either there's a September 2nd birthday that just saw five. We have August 31st, September 21st, September 20th. Yep, they keep giving me the 31st of August, the 21st of September. <laughs> So someone might be on the cusp of Virgo Libra. Okay, very significant. So I'm going to leave that reading there for you guys. It's kind of short and sweet tonight because I don't have much battery left, so I hope it's still recording. And uh, yeah, if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. Um, don't forget to join my OnlyFans. Just go hit that link and everything is there. Everything you need. Donate to the child rescue funds. Um, yeah, all that. And thanks everybody for the coffee and for becoming a subscriber on my OnlyFans. I appreciate that. And I'll see you all back here tomorrow. All right. Love you. Bye.